was so excited to get my hands on the EFT seminar in preparation for the four-day course um, because it really got into the meat about what EFT is about and <clears throat> Dawson's enthusiasm comes over so well and it just made me really excited to take the course and then in my course I am completely floored because I'm 51 years old and since eighth grade Dawson pulled out that I have chronic back pain and I just thought I was living with back pain of an eight forever and that's my life but uh, somehow Dawson tapped into what was going on with me an issue that happened at school in eighth grade and I'm back pain free <laughs> and um, I can't I'm I'm allowing myself to believe that it's true and it's great thank you hello my name is Evelyn and the EFT training has been great because I've been able to um, just make some connections of um, that I haven't made before and so one of them is that cognitively I'm just thinking away or explaining away what's happening in my body and really my inner child has been the one that's just saying don't explain it away just let me feel and so that's been great because now it's provided me um, actual things to work through with the tapping and so uh, yeah, I've just been really delighted and I can also see how I can take this practice for myself and then as well with the clients that I work with. So I highly encourage you to take the course. Thank you. So um, I'm so glad that I've come to this EFT workshop here. I've known about EFT for about six years actually and I've sort of dabbled in it for myself and I'm a nurse practitioner and I've used it a little bit. Um, with patients, with my limited knowledge. And one of the things that um, really helped me understand how it works a little bit more is the aspects part. I think that I've been thinking about problems a little bit too globally um, and then actually breaking issues down into smaller aspects gives you something a little bit more specifically to work on. Also, I really think that these memories that are trapped in the subconscious part of our brain, you know, are so hard to reach, but by, by breaking it down and doing it um, based on, you know, these specific aspects, it's more manageable. It's easier to, to do in a smaller segment. Mm -hmm. So it's been really positive. I've enjoyed meeting everyone, and it's been a, it's been a great experience. One of the things I love about EFT is that as a counselor, I can take on issues and histories in my clients that I never would have touched before. I have a traumatic brain injury client now that was declared dead at the scene and was laid on the frozen ground for an hour while they argued over her body. Can you imagine how much there is to deal with this, this woman? And with EFT, I can chip away a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. And she's gone from being severely brain injured to being able to self-regulate and to be able to process on her own with EFT some of the things that have happened to her. Mm -hmm. I feel so grateful that I have this that I can share with people who are so deeply, deeply wounded. Um, I am very excited to get home and start using some of the uh, techniques and the things that I've learned here because I wanting to work with veterans with PTSD and I've heard about the wonderful progress that a lot of veterans have made in in um, dealing with PTSD and some of them having their symptoms completely just vanish so to me that's very powerful and so um, I'm I'm ready to to bring this to my area and see if I can you know help a lot of people. Um, after meeting Dawson in, in Toronto I decided that I would sort of pursue it more. And I just noticed that when I use EFT and when I don't use EFT and when I use EFT, um, I things move more quickly through my body, through my psyche. Um, I tend to feel a whole lot better when um, I utilize it because it's a self-care tool. It's a tool that you can use that I have been using to really calm myself to, um, uh, yeah, really to calm myself and, and bring things back to sort of more homeostasis, a better alignment. And uh, being a massage therapist, I've noticed that I can sort of start using this with my clients. So I'm very excited to continue my studies, and uh, not just for myself, of course, 
heal thyself first, and then I can utilize it with my clients. Mm -hmm. So I really recommend that people um, pursue this, if not just for themselves, for others, but most certainly a great tool to use for yourself. I'm Terry Ann Sparks. I'm a retired elder in the United Methodist Church. I've pastored churches over the years. I've run a campus ministry. And I spent the last 21 years working as chaplain at the VA in Amarillo, Texas, and then later in Oklahoma City. I have done emotional freedom techniques for the last 20 years and have found it to be a very useful technique. The great thing about emotional freedom techniques is it's not religiously based. You don't have to be concerned about doing EFT conflicting with your religious beliefs. You don't have to be concerned about anything like that. EFT is a tool. God, the Creator, your higher power, put your body together like it is. That includes these acupressure points. That includes places where you can tap with EFT and get some amazing benefits. In other words, you're probably put together better than you realized. So might as well use it. It's a good gift from the creator of us all. It's not religiously based. Go for it. Use it. Help your people heal. Thank you.